Hey guys, I'm Jaden Dupree, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a pool ball backwards. Uh, and I know that sounds a little strange, uh, but these are more than 90 degree cuts. Let's take this nine ball right here. Let's take this ball, put it at the first diamond line. It is frozen to the rail. And the cue ball is not at the first diamond line. We are actually going to cut this nine ball into this pocket. Crazy, right? Most people would think, oh, I have to bank that. But the bank is not on because of the double kiss. Uh, if you don't know what a double kiss is, that is when the cue ball and this ball hit each other twice. So this cue ball is not at the first diamond. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to hit this rail first. So here's the physics behind the shot. We're adding a ton of right English on this, right spin on this ball. So right hand side on this ball. So it's spinning right as it goes into this rail. So if I hit this dead into this rail, you see how the cue ball goes to the right when I add right spin? So we're planning to just miss this nine ball by the most you can, by the least you can miss it. And then the cue ball, the right spin on the cue ball is going to bring it into that nine ball like that. So it's going to act like a regular cut shot. Just off of the rail. It'll make the nine ball that way. Rebound off of this rail and the right spin will actually stop it from scratching. So it'll come off of the rail uh, at about a straight line like that. But the right spin on the cue ball will still be there. So you don't have to worry about the scratch down in this corner. Unless you have a godlike stroke uh, and put a absolute ton of right hand side on it. Uh, but there's also one more thing we need to talk about. And it's called deflection. So I'm going to move this nine ball out of the way first. So we are not actually aiming for that point on the rail. Uh, because look, I'm going to show you, I'm going to add, we're using as much right spin as possible on this shot. I'm going to aim straight at that first diamond with the most right spin I can put. So you see how the cue ball went in a line like that. It did not hit that first diamond dead on. It went to the left. Uh, and a lot of people don't get this, but it's very, very, very basic if you think about it. So if you hit a ball on its right, it goes to the left. So instead of aiming, if we aim on this nine ball for where the cue ball actually needs to hit, shot's gonna end up looking something like this. Not even going to make contact with the nut. Uh, so we're going to have to hit somewhere around halfway. Uh, and you can also elevate your cue just a little bit. We're going to hit somewhere around, we're going to aim for somewhere around halfway on this ball. It's, it's a very, very difficult shot. But if nothing else is on, this is what you have to do. So uh, I'm going to skip to the making of this shot. And here... Okay, so now that we've talked about how to make this cut shot, uh, I'm going to show you a few other things you can do if you're ever stuck in this situation. Uh, one of them is to check if this ball is frozen to the rail. If it is not, you can play, uh, it's not the best choice, you can play this little safety shot where you just roll up on that ball, push it to the rail, and you try to get it frozen to the rail. And I've successfully completed this shot. The reason why you're trying to get it frozen to that rail is because after you play a shot, either the cue ball or the object ball has to contact a rail, or else it is a foul. Uh, but if the ball is already contacting the rail, then it does not count as a rail. So the only shot that the player would have after is something like that, uh, that can only give separation. 
so that is one choice, but that is if you absolutely cannot play another safety shot. Uh, you can, and it's probably not the greatest shot. You can try to bank that over there. Uh, but this is pretty, pretty difficult. It's a heavy cut, and every time you have a heavy cut, you tend to miss it by a long ways instead of a short ways. Also, you have the risk of that cue ball coming back in contact with this ball. Uh, let's give it one more go. Yeah, that's a tough one. Uh, but that is one of your options. Probably the best option other than that bank. Uh, other than that bank, which is extremely difficult, is to shoot this shot. So if the cue ball's like that, it's probably the kick at this ball. Uh, and I would rather kick slowly at this ball. And that is your main problem with kicking slowly, is that cue ball widening up. So the reason I want to kick slowly at this ball is it just gives a better chance to make the ball. Uh, if you kick fast, you tend to lose control of your cue ball like that. But if we take our time on this shot, and kick at a nice pace, we were able to pocket that ball. So uh, it's a little, it's a touchy shot. If this ball is up here, and your cue ball is over here, definitely bank this one in the side or in this corner, uh, because this kick shot is definitely not easy because of that side pocket. Uh, the side pocket starts to interfere as that ball goes up. Definitely don't kick hard at that because you might add some unwanted spin. So we had unwanted right spin on that one, unwanted left spin, I mean, uh, which caused the shortening up. See? Uh, also, the speed caused shortening up. So just more speed, less control you have. Be aware of that. Probably aren't going to make that if you kick it too, too fast. If you kick it soft, you might have a chance. Uh, but at that place right there, I would go ahead and bank it. Not four rails like I just did, uh, but bank it into the side pocket if it's more close. If it's closer to that second diamond than the first. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I upload new videos, you can click the subscribe button then the bell icon right next to it. That will just send you an email and notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. Uh, if you guys would like to support my channel, you can go and check out my Patreon link down in the description. Uh, and I also release a new channel. Uh, and this is just called Jaden Dupree. This is not much so for pool, uh, but I also am a social media marketer. Uh, so on that little channel, I give tips on how to make some extra money using your social media, or if you have a small business or uh, service that you provide, how to use social media effectively uh, to target all those people. Uh, so you can also go and check out that little page just for my entrepreneurial side. Uh, but that's it for this video. Comment what you want to see next. Comment if you like the new editing that I did for this video. Uh, I just bought some new editing software thanks to my patrons on Patreon. So thank you can thank them for that improvement. Uh, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.